another hospital appointment to see the rheumatology so decided to bring you the guys along sitting at the back of the bus and yeah so we're gonna see what happened today another one more blood tests more injection all of that so yeah i'm just sitting on the bus gonna go so yeah don't bring guys long Hey guys, so another appointment at King's. Basically, it's it's all with the lupus, but it's on a different section. So the last one that I'd done. The last place that I went for my hospital appointment was at King's, but it was under the, the kidney department. So now today I'm going to the rheumatology and they deal with arthritis, the pains, ulcers, quite a few things that comes under the that comes under the lupus that affects the lupus so it should be fun fingers crossed that the, the doctors will allow the camera in the room because i want you guys to like actually hear because it's more confusing me explaining it so hearing the doctor say it would be even better so yeah hopefully it goes to plan. Oh, it's so windy now, and the sun was just shining. So, I'm gonna see what they say. I'm so scary, like coming to the hospital because of all this, like, uh, coronavirus and stuff. It'd be like, eh. but I got my hand sanitizer in my bag, so I should be fine. So yeah, I'm just waiting. My glasses is so lean. Waiting in the waiting room. Well, not even the waiting room. It's just like a little bench where you can sit down uh, for them to call me. And then once they call me, I need to go do viewing, come back, sit, and then wait for the doctors to call me in. And they're running 36 minutes late. So that ain't gonna be fun. I don't like coming to this hospital more time. I wanted to change the hospital and go to another one because this is where my dad died. He died in this hospital last well, April. I was going to make one year since he passed away. And just knowing that I have to come back here to do appointments, get it just bring back memories because I'm on the the ground floor and he passed away on the first floor so it's just sad knowing that i have to come back here but you know i have to for my own health let me see if i can turn this around no guys it's not working but yeah hopefully i will get a good result today people are looking at me thinking what's this girl doing she's crazy i don't even care but inside, the funny thing here, yeah, I'm all dressed up, warming my scarf, my jacket, everything. And it is so hot in here now. And it's freezing outside. But once they call me to do my, oh yeah, I need to do blood pressure, blood test. So once they call my name, almost my name appeared on the system, then I'm going to go see them. Hi, Tashika. Yeah, come over. Oh, hi. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Pop your bits and bobs over there okay. for me and then take your feet off. Okay. So, I'm going to do 
blood pressure. Okay. Is it just the one layer? Yeah, it's just the yeah. one layer. Yeah. No, it's. <laughs> you know what it is? It's because. Oh my god, guys, that was so embarrassing. Basically, she was like, What are you feeding yourself? So, got this little pot with my number and everything on there. So, I need to do a urine. Then, I'm going to leave it in there, go take a seat. Way to be called again. Oops, what's going on? My blood pressure was a bit low, so we see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> just waiting again. I've just done my weight checkup and all of that. I should, and I remember I just done my urine as well, but that was so embarrassing. The lady was like. Are you videoing me? Are you videoing yourself? I was just laughing. She said, oh yeah, I remembered you from the last time doing a video and I'm thinking that wasn't me because this is the first time I'm doing this. So I'm just waiting for my name on that board to be called so that I can go in, get it sorted. And then I need to go into Brixton after this and get bits and bobs for the kids part lunch. But the way I was putting these hand sanitizers on my hands, because you know the coronavirus, that will not me, uh, that will kill me. So yeah. Oh, my hair is getting on my nose as well. But yeah, guys, this is just me. I took my coat off because it's so hot in here. It's like the radiator, the radiator, the heating is on full blast. But yeah, just here. I just hope the doctors then will let me bring my camera in that I can video even if I just video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have the camera on and I'm just gonna have it like this so it won't be to my face I don't want it to be bay or obvious and then you guys can hear what they're saying because I know they're very funny at times so yeah all right guys see you in a bit That's alright. Hi, you're right. Come in, come in. We've met before. Yes, that's right. Uh, you're on like a phenolate treatment for your lupus, are you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, any problems with the treatments? Oh, um, well, the last, I think, two months ago, um, within this period, I had ulcers in the mouth okay. um i had really bad um what do you call it, like a cold cold sore yeah but the way it attacked my it was just literally all over oh, right. wow. so i mean it's getting it's much better it's better now mm. but it was re it was so bad like really painful did you get some treatment from your gp well i did i know because the last time i had it and this i had it twice in a month mm. and then i went to the gp because when i went there we it was already broken out. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they said to me there wasn't much I could do. So what I did, just went to the pharmacy, got like, the lip cream mm -hmm. and I put it all over it. Mm -hmm. And it's 
I think last week it started to get much okay. better now. Okay. And just the normal aches and pains. Well, and you better touch something like that. You can come off the microphone later for a oh, week I or did, two. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't oh, yeah. know that. Just, just chop just it, thinking. just miss it out for a week or two. Okay. And it just helps it recover a bit quicker. Okay, because yeah. I know because that can lower the immune system yeah. some easily. Yeah. Um, it was just really the aches and the pains um, in my muscles and just feeling out of breath just I, I really felt really was I, I felt really bad if you understand that mm. my body just felt a bit like oh when do you feel short of breath even like just simple walking going mm. up the step i know that i'm under the the lungs department yeah. so they were meant to be re reviewing me so uh, chest clinic 2018 Unless they did send me a letter and I, I just completely forgot because there's so many appointments that I keep on. So you saw Dr. Warwick and he thought that at the time that some of it was due to fitness. Yeah, Did he thought that, yeah, because they done the... I think, yeah, no, that's the cardiology. Mm -hmm. When I had to do like, I basically went on to an exercising mm -hmm. bike and they done that. But I said, I told them that because I do go to the gym mm -hmm. um, now and then. And I, I mean, I don't have a car, so I do do walking and mm -hmm. stuff. So maybe, I don't know if I, is it overweight? I don't know, but- um, Do you want me to refer you back to that? I mean, I don't mind, because I do notice that I have been using mm -hmm. my, the brown and the blue as Have you well. got asthma? I wasn't diagnosed with asthma, but I, I, I had pneumonia. And then they said to me, because of that, they would just give me a pump just mm. to help with the breathing. But I wasn't diagnosed okay. with asthma, no. Do you find that the pumps help with your breathing? It does kind of help when I do feel a bit wheezy and I feel mm. like, and I take the pump, it does help me a bit. And now I would just sit down and kind of just mm. relax and okay. stuff like that, yeah. Where have you got the aches and pains? Okay, I'm um, sure I uh, have. It's just like normal in, especially in my my leg. Mm -hmm. So it's really so. For example, if I'm going to get the kids from school or stuff like that, I notice that it's just feel like there's pins and needles in my leg, or sometimes I'm just like sitting down a little bit, and they will be like, "Mom, why are you taking so long?" And I have to explain like I'm in pain. And so it's just normally my legs. And does it come and go? Yes, it does. It's not constantly there all the time. So, so come and go, it? yeah, it does go. So, for example, I notice when I'm waking up in the morning, I can't get out of bed. It takes me a little while mm -hmm. to get out because, like, I have to. My body needs to catch up with my. Yeah, it's a bit weird. And then once I feel a little bit better, I will get out of bed, do what I'm doing, but along the day. I do get these aches and at night it's so uncomfortable mm -hmm. it's like I'm like twisting and turning just because I the pain is just where do you think the pain's coming from is it for like some of the muscles or the knees or can you tell I feel like it's in my bones mm -hmm. it's, it's just like in my bones like it's mm -hmm. just it doesn't feel like it's a muscle pain like if I went to the gym and you know you get those lactic acid it doesn't feel nothing like that it just it's in my bones like it's Rubbing together? Yeah. If, yeah um, Can I test your strength? Oh, yeah, sure. You just lift your arms up like this and just push me up to the ceiling. And this one. Okay, and then just make a fist and cock them up. Just like that. Like that, oh, like that. Right, and keep it up. Okay, and hold onto the chair. Okay. Put one of your knees up like this and just push up against my hand. And the same on this side. Okay, and this time push away. Okay, okay. Does that bother you? It's just a bit tender, like. At the front there. Yeah, it's okay. just normally in these. Can I just press on your knee? Oh, yeah, sure. Does that bother you? No, that bit feels a, a bit sensitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I've done a bone density yeah. and everything was fine last year, I, I mean, think. Yeah. I think it was last it's, year. It does sound a bit like kind of. Well, I'll do a few tests to check the bone problem, but oh. I don't think I'll find it. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll, so we'll check your vitamin D, we'll check your CK for muscle. Okay. Um, have you seen a physiotherapist for knee exercises? No, I haven't. Do you want to see one? Um, if, if it's... If you don't really if, want if, to. No, then. if it's not that... In, no, I don't know. Yeah. Have, have you tried heat, heat treatment on your knees? 
I did um, had a heat impact on my mm. back, but I kind of wrapped it around yeah, my yeah, leg yeah. when it when it's really intense yeah, yeah. to just kind of help with the pain. Mm. But I don't do it every night. Mm. Would you like to try pain to it? Okay, to help. Yeah, I wouldn't mind at all. Have you tried one before, like your trip to me? Um, the one that I tried, because I had my GP prescribed me with some tablets, but I'm not taking it anymore because I had really bad physical pain in my mm -hmm. back and I can't sleep at night. So they helped, they gave me some tablets for that. Was it amitriptyline? I think that's that's the name of it, okay. yeah. So let's just go and see some more of that. I'll give you a different, slightly different one that's okay. the side effects. Okay. Do you need any other tablets? No, I'm good. I'm on my microfibrillators and all those tablets. Yeah, prescription and I think blood as well. Okay. Yeah, out, yeah. Okay. And th will the, the letter be sent in the yeah, post? I'll send it on to All you right, thank you so much. No Bye. So I've finished my appointment and mean you guys could hear some bit that the doctor was saying now i need to go get some medication he gave me some pain for the aches and the pain that i get in my muscle and my joints so i'm just going to go get some that medication i've got to do some blood tests but that's in may and june so i don't have to do that now um you guys can't even see me because of the light so i'm going to do that so a blood test May, June, and what else did they? Yeah, so a bit, the little bit that I could have video because my phone was being stupid is, he said to me that I've got like, I didn't even realize I had water, I had water fluid on my lungs. So all of that to get sorted, I'm gonna be referred back to the lungs clinic. So I'm just going to go get my medication and I think I'm just going to leave it at that now. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching.